A Southboro woman's putting her pedal to the metal, quite literally, mm -hmm. to help raise money for a young girl battling a rare disease. 13-year-old Naomi Johnson cannot speak or communicate with her parents, but that may change soon. Paul Burton introduces us to her new guardian angel. <laughs> She's very silly. 13-year-old yeah. Naomi Johnson has never spoken a word. Born with a neurodevelopmental disorder called Rett syndrome. The hand wringing is, it's all part of the neurological thing. It's all, you know, her brain is telling her, do this to your hands. This incredibly energetic bundle of joy has no way to communicate. You're mostly trying to guess what she's thinking. She needs help with every part of her life, brushing her teeth, getting dressed, you know, putting her shoes on. Up until recently, her parents thought Naomi would have to remain this way. That's before they met their guardian angel. Her story makes me melt, and uh, I love the families. Linda Lido is with Guardian Angel Motorsports. Linda, who also has a special needs child, is putting her pedal to the metal to help Naomi have a better quality of life. Her foundation is hosting a private car racing fundraiser on May 31st to help buy Naomi a high-tech communication device called the Toby. If you are not able to communicate in any, any way, this will allow a user to speak. I want water. It would open up her world. It would give her a better quality of life. It would give her a little bit of independence. But the tablet costs $18,000. Linda says Guardian Angel Motorsports is determined to raise the funds so Naomi can have a voice. This isn't just um, a passion of mine. You know, this is something that I live and breathe every day. And I don't just, you know, donate something. These people are part of my family. But yeah, Linda is a guardian angel. And obviously, we couldn't be doing this without her. I love her for that and love guardian angel motorsports. We are indebted to them for forever. In Franklin, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. If you would like to know more about Naomi's story or to help with the fundraiser, you can go to our website at cbsboston.com and we have it there for you.